Hello friends I hope you are all well uh wish you happy dasera shubho vijaya so here i am with a new, new video here i will update you the cyclone which is coming this week definitely it is coming either it will impact or on odisha or bengal or wherever uh this is going to impact us not so less not so huge but still we have to take enough precautions so that no one gets harm from it even a single person should die or be injured due to this cyclone so my video should be uh for you to save someone's life close to you you must share this video to everyone so that everyone should get the update of this cyclone so i will show you two three interesting thing other than the reports which has already came in the newspapers or news channels so the one of the most popular news channel is uh, uh this hindustan times in this uh <coughs> newspaper they have published it's not paper i think it's website uh the news has been published by this hindustan time it's a indian meteorological department so this report should be published uh, based in many other uh <coughs> uh news channels so they have uh in the meteorological department has reported this is going to impact on odisha and uh, probably it will impact on kendrapara uh jagat singhpur katak badrak uh, and other places which are close to there and also it will impact on puri and and the areas close to these places but the thing i will show the live report the live model which is uh is in the wf report where we can observe that this is as per the report or as per the model prediction if you see in the wf model prediction uh this uh cyclone is going to impact on uh odisha mostly and some some of the places of bengal like south bengal mainapur this places is going to be impact like diga you can see haldibari uh and gangashagar is there namkhana these places are going to impact kontai also mandarmani all the all the belt of the sea belt uh, of south bengal is going to get impact through this ecmw model if we move forward this timeline we can see it properly that how is going to enter so if we clear the timeline you can see that it is impacting mostly on odisha but here is not the end of this report in the forecast platform we should not take one model's prediction but we should look other models also so here we see in, in this windy three models three most um, popular models or there are many other models but these three models are most trusted by globally trusted so gps model there are four models actually so these four models are given in the wendy mostly they uh, actually uh, keep updating these models every time so here we can see that in <coughs> wednesday this uh, cyclone is going toward not to odisha the interesting fact is that it is going to hit bengal the border of west bengal and odisha we should remember that this is not human made model these are completely system generated models ai ai based model i think say, i i can say so there is no human manipulation is there so whatever system has predicted 
the this system of GFS model system has predicted this cyclone might go to toward Bengal, not on Odisha. So you, in this model, we can clearly see that Odisha is not going to get any impact. That's what my report is. So we should take care. Uh, the Odisha area because his MW model is saying about Odisha and his GFS model is saying about uh, the it is impacting on uh, Bengal and as per the G GFS report it is impact it is going to get landfall on Sundarban area on uh, 24th 4 p.m. 24th October 4 p.m. that is on Thursday but the CMW report it is going to impact in the midnight of 24th October or 25th of, uh, of October Friday so in between Thursday and Friday these things are going to happen so we should take precaution from Wednesday, Wednesday morning to uh, Friday uh, or till Saturday at least Odisha and people who are near to these places even in Bangladesh who are at Bangladesh they also should take precautions because the cyclone uh, may change because in this time because there are so many things are happening if you see in the side of Philippines there is another cyclone I don't know what is the name of this cyclone but this is a huge cyclone so we have always observed there's one cyclone can challenge uh, can throw some uh, challenges to other cyclone and uh, the Im impact of this cyclone you can see this is these are two parallel cyclone so these two cyclones are uh, closely going toward uh, west and uh, so but as while the, the wind might change this might go to north also so there is no uh, 100 percent prediction can give any model that which path it will follow so we should take in care all the people live in the coast area of Bangladesh from Vizag to uh, Chitta, uh, Chittagong and means to Bangladesh all the people should take precautions including complete Bengal complete Odisha not just that uh, if we see uh, other places like Kolkata in Kolkata there can be significant uh, wind uh, gust also from uh, Thursday around around 5 a.m. to it is almost uh, Friday 5 p.m. so there will be a strong gust it is the report of ECMW if we see the GFS report uh, GFS report is also saying that there will be wind gust around 23-24 so the uh, wind will be not so huge while wind gust will be also there and if we see rain rainfall report yeah definitely rainfall will be there huge rain so Friday there will be rain as per ECMW model most rainfall will be there in Odisha and also in Thursday there will be rain in Kolkata uh, in Wednesday there will be rainfall in Kolkata right so as per GFS report we can observe the rainfalls so here we can see the rainfall might change so that there will be rainfall on Thursday Wednesday to Friday till Saturday there will be much rainfall you can observe so this is not going to impact a lot the north belt bit of rainfall might be there in Guwahati or uh, Shillong will be a different case here yeah. uh, rainfall will be there even all the monsoon 
इवन आफ्टर मानसून स्टील देर बी रेनफॉल अपू अक्टोबर एंड इन शिलीगुड़ी देर बी नॉट सो मच रेनफॉल बट इट विल डेफिनेटली इम्पैक्ट ओवरऑल द जियोग्राफी सो ऑल द प्लेस विल सी द क्लाउड्स clouds of october so that's my presentation is and uh, i have observed in zoom earth also if you see how the cyclone is developing so this is a this is a just presentation you can see that how zoom earth is showing uh, the cyclone is forming is very interesting and i I think uh, this kind of um, technologies was not there before five or ten years. We can see uh, every ten minutes of update on cloud changes. This is a slide report from 13 October. You can see so the satellite report is giving the complete update. so every 10 minutes you can see how the clouds are changing if you see that philippines uh cyclone is still not yet formed but here we can see a bit that clouds are coming towards to make something the play of clouds is clearly observed so if i zoom out and see the both cyclone so it's 14 october it's huge one week back so i should uh, make a pause and make it bit forward from 17th october if i start to see then i can see yeah uh, there is already a cyclone has been formed you can see these lines has been <coughs> provided yeah these are two cyclone has been formed in the pacific ocean and it's also philippine sea If I zoom in toward the Dana cyclone, it has not formed on 18 October. Clouds are still accumulating, and they are going to form in next 24 hours. I think so. From 19 October reports, we are these clouds, as when you can see, has been formed. So if I just move it. first and we want our how clouds are changing at 7 pm 8 pm 9:40 10:40 12:40 so 3:40 4:40 20 20 october we can see now that the cyclone has been formed already and it is moving i mean uh, at least the accumulation yeah the cyclone has been formed because the line has been given now so we can see the cyclone we you can see because here is also the line is giving straight forward to north so this might go to uh, bengal i think because the path it, which is the which it is following it's not toward uh, west so there might be a chance that this cyclone could hit as per the gfs model so gfs model is much updated i can say because uh, in the last cyclone also i have observed the same thing gfs model nowadays are giving much precise report before one week earlier cmw model was quite correct but now i don't know why the calculations goes going 
goes wrong in the same download mode more gfs model are giving much better reports so that's why i have made this video because gfs model is showing a bit different which is also clearly in, in the satellite live image live uh, images are also saying the same report that is going to a not so if we if we just uh, make this line toward not it is going to hit bangladesh might be if the cyclone not move toward west and there is no such chances and it is not so clear still yet if if, if it turn toward left i mean toward west or not if it is going toward not then definitely it will be getting to uh, Bangladesh show uh, that's why everyone should start taking precautions and all the built uh, all the people surrounding these uh, coast coastal areas should uh, take it seriously thank you thank you very much for uh, watching this video it's a long video because uh, the interesting part was the reports of Indian Meteorological uh, Department and the most trusted models are saying two different stories. So that's why uh, we still have to focus on uh, which model are giving closure report here. It is clearly GFS model is going to uh, win again because earlier uh, GFS model also given a much better and precise report. Thank you. Thank you very much.